Hello class, my name is Tammy Oloko. Today I'll be presenting an article titled, The Influence of Emotion Regulation on Decision Making Under Risk. Emotion Regulation. Emotion regulation refers to the processes involved in the initiation, maintenance, and modification of occurrence, intensity, and duration of feelings states. And now to further explain emotion regulation. Emotion regulation strategies have been traditionally used to control emotional responses induced by stimuli such as pictures, movies, or narratives that invoke negative affect. More recently, such strategies have also been applied to positive emotions invoked by pictures, food stimuli, or cues that predict different rewards. And now to introduce the article itself, the researchers explained that the ability to control emotional responses is essential for adaptive function. Cognitive strategy typically involved in regulating negative emotions is also effective with positive emotions associated with monetary rewards. However, it is unclear if the effects of emotion regulation can affect beyond in emotional experiences to changes in goal-directed behavior. For instance, an individual unable to cope with sudden urges explicited by a conditioned stimulus such as a casino environment may engage in risk-seeking behavior such as gambling that can potentially turn into a compulsive disorder. Hypothesis 1 Emotion regulation will lead to increased risk-seeking behavior as individuals will successfully regulate tend to make choices that maximizes performance and place less weight on the outcome of a single decision, in turn leading to a reduction in loss and loss of aversion. Hypothesis 2. Averting condition control over emotional responses will promote more control over more goal directional decision making, decreasing risky decisions and bold signals in the striatum. The ventral striatum is closely associated with decision making, risks, and reward. It is primarily connected with reward cognition, reinforcement, and motivational desires. And now for the participants. The participants included 15 women and 15 men. The experimental tax consisted of 90 trials divided into six blocks of 15 trials. Each trial Started, started with a Q phase involving the presentation of a CS cognitive strategy and a cognitive instruction for a variable duration of 4, 6, or 8 seconds. The CS was either a slot machine, which predicted a monetary decision between a safe and a sky lottery, or a stamp machine, which predicted a non monetary choice between stamps. Finally, participants applied emotion regulation strategies relax, look, or excite during the CES trials and decision-making phase. Participants were instructed to picture relaxed scenes such as the ocean to look natural or to invoke an exciting image during the trials. Results, results, results. Behavioral results. Participants will experience per succession applying the relaxed strategy, chose the risky option less, often doing relax compared to look and excite. These results suggested that when presented with a condition Q that represents reward, engaging in relaxed focus emotion regulation alters the following decision making. Neuroimaging analysis 
focus on the decision phase and sought to identify brain regions recruited during the decision making that were triggered by emotion regulation. The modulation of both the left and right vitral striatum both signals during risky decision making by relaxed emotion regulation strategy showed greater bold signals in the left vitral striatum when participants chose the risky option compared with when they chose the safe option during the trials where they were acting naturally. On the other hand, both signals were lower during relax than look when the choice was the risky option. In addition to the striatum, the effective use of regulation led to decrease of bold signals in the midbrain and insular, suggesting that, cognat that cognitive strategies can have a global impact in, neuros in neurosecurity involved in reward and decision making. The effect of instruction and choice in A, the midbrain, and B, the insular. The left midbrain bold responses demonstrates an interaction of instruction and choice, such that activity and risky choices was significantly reduced to reduce after the relaxed regulation compared with the respondent natural look. A main effect of choice was also observed in the left anterior insula with greater responses to risky compared to safe choices. And now to conclude, this study employed two opposite cognitive imagery focus regulation strategy, relax and excite. No significant shifts in the risk-taking or neutral activity were associated with excite strategy. There are several possible explanations for why the researchers did not observe an effect, an effect of excite regulation on the decision making given that relaxed regulation did influence decision making. Although majority of the participants rated themselves as successful at visualizing exciting imagery, they also reported the need to periodically update the exciting images that they thought about. As over time, the imagery, the images lost their potential. Additionally, there were some conflicts between participants who wanted to imagine Las Vegas casinos and instruction to think of something non-tax specific like a roller coaster. It is possible that the level of excitement achieved by the it is possible that the level of excitement achieved by the excite strategy may have been comparable to which participants experience when naturally responding to the slot machine cue. If similar effect was associated with excite and look condition, that would underline the lack of observed differences in risk taken between these conditions. Future work could address, to, could address this question by including affect readings during the tax. Thank you for your attention.